Hello everybody. I got some good stuff to show y'all today. If you're making this type of antenna that you need to know. You might not know you need to know, but trust me, you need to know. Now these as far as these two-piece type antennas that I've been making. See the uh, VHF whiskers right here? And uh and this is separate than this. There's two wires. See here. Oh wow, that's dark right there. But there's two wires coming down. Alright, I moved it over here in the sun. And y'all know this is the ultimate antenna right here with the with the uh VHF add on. And I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you how I found this out. And trust me, you need to know. Uh one day I was testing this ultimate antenna out because I sell them. Sometimes people don't need a booster. So what I done is I sat down and it took me a while. But I figured out how to make this antenna stronger. Okay. That being said, I was using the Channel Master 7777 booster. When I done that upgrade, I had done something that made the signal strength go up. That's a secret. But uh, but it's but but it's in my videos. I just ain't telling you what I done that makes it do that, you know. Okay. When when I went to a customer's house the the uh to install one, see I, when I was testing, I was testing without the booster. But whenever I put that that most powerful booster they make on here, that thing, it uh it picked up the same channel on all the channels. And what I'm telling you is it was too much. It was too much DB gain for this antenna. And I've tried it several times since and and it won't work. So I dropped back to the 7778. And that cleared everything up, but you can't use the 707077 with this antenna. Okay. So to get on with the story, uh Here's one I built the other day. It's on another channel. This is a two-piece, but it runs into a two-piece booster. And this is the only antenna right here that I know of that runs in a two in a two-piece booster. Now, now don't go to thinking, oh well, what what you even talking about? I'm talking about sometimes a booster is too much for how close you are to the TV station. And and here's what I'm saying. This is fine and dandy as long as you can use that booster. But if you don't need that booster, these two coaxes is a problem. And a splitter ain't exactly the answer neither. I'm going to show you what is. This right here is a uh, is a a UHF VHF splitter, but it splits it right. And uh, I'm actually gonna make a video of this, but I don't even I don't even know how to. Even. You see, I got a surprise box here. I got a bunch of these, a bunch of surprise stuff anyway <laughs> for making videos. So see, if you live in the city, you may not need that booster. But you want your, v, your UHF and VHF connected right to where one is not interfering with the other because it will do it. And I want to tell you, I got people that's making my same exact videos. Same exact videos. I heard somebody say, I heard somebody on one of their videos come up, uh, asked a question. Where did you get the link for the VHF whiskers? And he didn't answer them. You know why he didn't answer them? Because they come from me. I can't remember where I got this link from, but 
it's not an out of the blue it's not an out of the blue uh measurement it's it i i spent so long since i done it i don't remember where i come up with that but it's actually a real good uh measurement that and man if you want to make a video make a video you ain't got to make the same exact one i'm making all right y'all know i started playing the drums a while back and uh about six months ago, I reckon. I want you to listen to this. Let them mimic this. Thanks, everybody.